One of the newer things that I do is working on podcasts. And, and I think it all started really when I started creating my own podcast over the years. Um, there's, quite a, there's quite a challenge to it. It can be kind of tricky to, to get produced. Um, there are a lot of rules that you need to follow depending on what platform you're, you're on. I mean, I, I tend to prefer Spotify and Apple on their podcasts. You know, creating the right artwork and creating the descriptions and producing the podcast can actually be really, really time consuming um, and tricky to make sure that it works. But, you know, over some time, um, I've actually been able to create quite a few um, depending on what it is, you know, you're, you're trying to do a podcast for. So I have actually, you know, created several podcasts, produced several podcasts um, over the years. You know, again, some of my own, um, but I'm starting to do many others for other people. Um, and, and again, there's a certain trickiness to it to make sure that they work well. And I think one of the misinterpretations people have is that just, you know, you wave a magic wand and you have a podcast. Um, and that's just not true. There's there's really a lot of steps to it. So what I normally do is I meet with the client and I kind of walk through the process and what's involved. And nine times out of 10, actually for me, 10 times out of 10, they'll have me produce it for them because it takes that much work to do. And then I sort of work with them to get the material. So I'll actually meet with a client, go there with my recording equipment, record the podcast and get that produced for them. If they have the budget and, and it really works out um, to their advantage, um, it's an excellent thing um, to consider, especially in this modern day. Um, podcasting is huge and uh, it's becoming bigger. It's sort of almost like the new Netflix, if you will. Um, it can be really, really effective if, if it fits your time and budget.